All right, uh, pretty boy interview with uh, yours truly, Nick Eversman, take two. <laughs> Okay, we're good. I think we got it. You're a bitch. Wait, there's no makeup? <laughs> you know what? Mr. Diva? Mr. Diva, you need to calm down. Uh, I'm Nick Eversman, and I played Sean James Collins. My name is Rebecca Tripp, and I was a producer on Pretty Boy, as well as playing Katie. Hi, I'm John Bradell. I play the role of the father, John. My name is Millie Trachtenberg, and the role I played is Shirley in The Convenience Store. My name is Cameron Thrower, and I'm the writer, director, producer of Pretty Boy. Um, so my name is Jesse Aragon, and I was the cinematographer for Pretty Boy. My name is Jeremy Rodriguez, and I'm the assistant director for Pretty Boy. Hi, my name is Sonny Nicholas, and I am the storyboard artist for Pretty Boy. Pretty Boy is a story about a young man who is battling with who he truly is. Uh, and his battles with his own sexuality and his father's attempt to fix it. His father takes him to a motel room, tries to fix the problem by hiring him a, a hooker, a prostitute, for his 18th birthday. Throughout the night, the prostitute becomes a support he's never had. Two sort of lost souls um, kind of finding each other under very odd circumstances. And then it becomes a journey of him trying to figure out who he is. He learns to accept uh, that you know his differences aren't that different at all. Oh man, what was my experience in working with the cast and crew? I don't even know where to begin. It, true professionals all the way around. It was a lot of fun. Um, everybody was super committed and um, we wanted to tell this story. It was just a great atmosphere. Everybody was, was working together to make this wonderful piece of art. I, I will never forget it. It was such an overwhelming experience working with such talented people from the director of photography, which is Jesse Aragon, Jeremy Rodriguez, my assistant director, the um, composer, Lillard Anthony, from Becca to Nico, the cast crew, John Bridell. It's tough sometimes when you get, when you get uh, directors that you don't know and you don't know how they work, and, and Cameron was really easy. He was open to suggestions, and he made just the right suggestions at the right time to help you get there. It was easy to pick his vision. He liked to bring these around, these Barbie dolls. So these, this was actually our way of communicating. Uh, this is this, this is this, can you draw this for me? It was actually, it's pretty clever. I've actually never seen this before. Everyone that, that Cameron brought on, it was Justin, uh, Jeremy, like his, all these guys were like amazing to work with. Um, and my crew was, was amazing to work with. So we had a really good crew. Everyone was so incredibly supportive um, and fun. We had a lot of fun. How dare I what? Not all the milk in the world is gonna make anybody love you. <laughs> it's true. Working with Nick on this project was uh, amazing. I felt completely safe and I felt like the scenes that we did together were totally collaborative and there was a lot of giving and receiving, which is always, you know, a gift when you're on set and when you're acting with someone. Rebecca was a lot of fun to work with. Uh, we, we had a, a good time uh, cracking a lot of jokes along the way. You should have seen what I had on last night, honey. I looked at the wrong place. <laughs> have someone that talented um, standing across from you and you can just you know be yourself. Rebecca and, and Nick were so professional and so good and it was just it was inspiring to actually get to work with them. Working with John was tremendous. We didn't have a ton of time to work together. I didn't have as much time with him as I did with Nick but um, he is he brings a lot. He brings his whole self and uh, he's really open to playing and trying new things and changing it up which is always a lot of fun. You're a hooker, right? Act like it. Oh hell. No. <laughs> oh hell no. Oh hell no. Oh hell no. That was awesome. John's a pro. I mean, John's been around the industry for a really long time um, and, and playing so many different roles. Uh, it was really cool to have him as a dad. The message that I hope people will take away from Pretty Boy is twofold. One, uh, the message of Pretty Boy, which is to speak your truth and to be as honestly yourself as you possibly can be. The second, uh, from my producer side, is uh, the need for independent film. I hope people will walk away from this film and realize that everybody is beautifully different in their own way. Sort of open their minds just a little bit more um, and realize that 
We have so many more similarities than we have differences. To make people think when they walk away from watching a film. And I think that's one thing that, that filmmaking is, it's a very powerful medium that it makes people, you can influence people by what you put on the screen. Pretty Boy was made on a small budget with uh, the dedication and support of a lot of people. And it has, if only one thing, and it has many things, but if only one thing, it has a full, beating, beautiful heart. And so I would hope that everybody watching it realizes the importance and the need for independent film. All right, guys. Uh, yeah, I, I, I need to thank a couple people. Um, this cast, this crew, I can't thank you enough, but I will keep on trying. Uh, thank yous for Pretty Boy could go on as long as my interview has gone on, as long as the film um, and even longer. To everybody on set, Gustavo, uh, Taylor, to our friends uh, Mike Schill, everybody who just came up to support, whether you brought us some food, whether you just brought us some water, uh, we appreciated it. But I'd love to thank the crew for doing such a great job, the actors for being so inspiring, and everybody that's watched this film and supported it. Thank you to my wife and, um, uh, gosh, my, my entire family. My friend Anne, who was one of the associate producers, who was a great support. Everyone who has supported us with contributions, social media, liking, sharing us, commenting, it means the world. We see every single um, little thing that you do on there. So, I mean, it means the world and it keeps us going. Um, I definitely want to thank like everybody on the crew, you know, the, from the PAs to Cameron to my crew. To all the film festivals that we were able to be a part of um, and to actually have my family attend one of them in North Carolina, uh, that is something I will never forget. Big thank you to all the people um, behind the scenes uh, that are actually working on this with me right now. A huge shout out to uh, Aglyph in Austin. We met some amazing people out there. Uh, it's an experience that we'll never forget. And every person on the other side of this uh, screen that's watching this in some way has contributed to this film. So thank you from the bottom of my heart. And uh, we can't wait to show you what we come up with next. And if you want to eat a pumpkin muffin, you eat a pumpkin muffin and you don't anyone... You don't anyone. I won't. Don't anyone. I won't. <laughs> no, but it's an outtake. It was, rolling. yeah, because they're rolling. Right. <laughs> Sorry, I fucked that up. Hey, you're rolling. Are you rolling? You rolling on this?